Yo, what's up, guys? I'm here with Hani Jahari. You guys already know the goat, the what's man, go, the legend, baby? the what's myth go? himself. All right. So, uh, yo, how'd you do today, bro? I got top eight. Uh, playing adventure punk. Yes. Uh, Shut right. ban them. That's what I call it. The deck's called Shut ban them. Uh, <laughs> every card. It's a deck full of cards that should be banned, right? <laughs> <laughs> every card in my deck should just be on the ban list. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's get right Can into I it. Can I be miss playing? But before we do, uh, any shouts? Yeah. Shout out to Luxury, obviously. Yep. Shout out to Pack. Shout out to Yampi. Shout out to Hysum. You know. Uh, Let's run it. Hysum especially and Yampi especially because they help me with the deck a lot. Yep. Um, yeah, man. I just. Uh, I just like the deck a lot. I think uh, that's really it for the shout outs. Sure. Let's get into the profile. So, right. you played? Uh, three Water Enchantress, uh, one Griffin Rider, one Draco Back, one Faithful, and then uh, three Rights. Um, yeah, nothing really to explain here. Pretty standard. I uh, didn't want to play two of this. One was good. Yep. Um, three Foxy Tune, two uh, Ziamen, and then one Dierno. This is good. Uh, Three of this. I know a lot of people don't play three of this. They play one, yeah. Like but, Gunther uh, played one. But uh, I really just want to resolve this because summoning this is actually pretty good uh, to like synchro into health with. Uh, you go health, summon Red Rose, then you summon this, and then you synchro eight into Chaotic Ruler. Then you get to reborn this and then make the zombie. So like it was actually insane. So like playing three of this was good. Plus like it's an extender into another two into a tuner. Like you want extenders into tuners. Like that's also huge. So, uh, yeah, no complaints about this. This was just really good. And then, obviously, the best spell card in the game right now for this, uh, like, for Teleport. me, like, Teleport's the best one. I rarely opened it, bro. Like, I rarely, like, so often open this, but, like, when I did, it was insane. Yeah, that card's broken. Like, it just does so much, bro. Like, this one spell card can do infinite for you, so. And then, uh, the Sangan package. I played three Sangan, uh. When Arborea, uh, this is just so you can make health like health faster. Uh, it also just like is a good card you can mill off of uh, the vampire zombie to summon it. You link it off to get a free hand trap a lot of the times. Um, you could also like mill, mill it off chaotic ruler. It's another dark like in this. That's what this deck needs. Like you need darks, lights and darks for chaotic ruler. Reborns it faster. Like, so uh, it, was, it was good. I like this. Uh, search, it searched me hand traps a lot. Like I was ending my combos with like Ash Blossom, Baylor's in hand all the time. So that's pretty good. Then uh, one Red Rose Dragon, one Rock Rose Dragon, and then the Basil Rose Shoot. That's pretty standard. Uh, Scythe, should it be banned? Uh, Snow, uh, Jet Synchron, and then I play Force Burial, Descend. Water Champions. Water Champions usually. You can send Jet, you can send uh, you can send like these cards too. Uh, and there's another card you can send, you'll get into that. And then uh, Call by the Grave, insane. Then for Hand Traps, 3 Ash, 3 Valor, Token Collector. You send this off a riser when you already have Snow Engrave and it auto beats the Sword Soul matchup. And I wanted to main it because if I get to top cut and I know who's playing Sword Soul, I could just send it every time in game one. Uh, yep. You know, so it, uh, I felt like this was just correct. And then uh, the best hand trap in my deck this weekend, uh, it was Gamma Driver. Uh, these cards were insane. Uh, this card specifically, because like a lot of times I go Water Enchantress, they go Ash, I go Gamma. And uh, in top, top 16, I ended up doing that to my opponent. Won me the game. I did it multiple times in Swiss. This is the best card going like going second. So when you go second, you open it. It's just insane. Hit a Luber. Hit. Uh, hits everything. You know the first the first action and like getting rid of those cards. Hit the Sunavalon link. Like it hit so many cards this weekend. And just like sometimes holding it and like using it like to break boards with it is also insane because like people just have to negate rights so, like or water enchantress like water enchantress has to get negated or you're just in a disadvantage then the last non-engine is three droplets i was able to play uh, 13 non-engine and 44 cards which gave me about a 50 percent chance of drawing two of them and in this deck it's pretty good like having a 50 percent opportunity to draw one of these and then you have all these one card starters like sangan and itali and rights so um it was pretty good like like it worked out really nicely and then for the extra deck i played appaloosa mexico talker celine fiber dagda uh cherubini uh 
All Mirage, Link Spider, for the Links. Uh, Link Karibo, Link Karibo. Oh, Link Karibo. Yeah, uh, Link Karibo is really good because you, uh, you can turn your uh, jet into one card Hulk, so, so, or one card uh, Dagda. So you go Hulk into Jet, and then turn it into Link Karibo, summon it back, make Dagda. So that's like the, the, the simple combo. Uh, Cherry Beanie was insane. The reason why I play Cherry Beanie is because like, there's like a lot of times where you get two threes on the board. Uh, specifically, Sangan, Itali, uh, is like an FDK because like you can go Itali, summon the uh, Ziamen, Ziamen gets you a search, then you summon Sangan and then you make Cherubini to send Water Enchantress. It's insane, you get a free search off of Sangan. Uh, if you guys want to see the combo, I did it on stream earlier, so if you guys check out this live stream, you can probably watch it. So that's, so if you want to see the combo. Uh, and then Psychic Gun Punisher, Hot Red, Baron, Chaotic, Riser, Wander Magician, and the Zombie Vampire. Um, this card was good because I needed a way to get a Dark Engrave guaranteed for this. Uh, also, just like if I hit, every, like, there's like a combo in the deck. If I hit any level one tuner, I'm able to make Hot Red off of this. And like, it's pretty, it happens pretty often with Baylor and Dustin Cron. Also, your opponent probably played Baylor in their deck, so it works out like a lot of times. So, uh, this was good. I make this every game. All these really came up. This card was insane. Uh, it's just like an FCK against Despia. Despia can't beat this. Uh, a lot of decks can't out this actually, like Sky Striker and all those weird decks. So, that was pretty good. Uh, and like these are pretty standard, like for the combos, obviously. So, sweet. Let's see your side deck. Uh, side deck, three foolish return. Uh, this card overperformed this weekend. Uh, I versed seven Despias. I beat all of them. Uh, th this card was just insane in that matchup. Like, able to shuffle back tragedy when they target off a red. Um, I targeted an Eldritch trap before this. I, I targeted like a lot of different things with this card this weekend. It, it overperformed honestly. And the thing is, like, this plays around Trimer Carrier. Um, if they have lost Trimer Carrier with like a mirror jade up, like you could just like shuffle back their target off a of red and they can't try Mercurial this. So um, it was really good. Like it, can't, like it was actually just insane. Uh, three Dark Roller, no more. Uh, I just felt like I needed something for like this deck. Like this deck, like you'll lose to Dark Roller like, like a lot. So like I, I felt like the Therion version was just worse. Like it can't control Dark Roller. Your Dark Roller, it's usually an FDK. And then three twin. Uh, it's for backer decks. Uh, Flunderies versus none of them. Literally Flunderies. I didn't see any this weekend. So I don't know. This wasn't very good. Came up against the trap, the Eldritch deck, but I didn't even draw it. Uh, three evenly. This card was pretty good. Um, I resolved it maybe like once or twice, but like usually like I was winning my games without it. So like there's some games it was just dead in my hand. I was just discarding it off my cards. But, I don't know. Uh, might consider it again. And then D-Barrier. Theoretically, this card was insane. Like, if you, like, uh, versus, like, Despia and stuff. But, uh, even though I versed 7 Despias, like, I never really sided this card in. I barely sided this card in. Like, I, I barely went to Game 3. So, like, I never really sided this card in. So, I mean, I think the card's insane, though. But, at the same time, I, like, barely saw it. Barely resolved it. Didn't even use it this tournament, really. So, Sounds good. Awesome. Well, congratulations again on top eight, and uh, hopefully we uh, see you more at more events and all that good stuff. So, all right, run it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.